Robot Dog Armed with RPG by Russian Military The robot dog was made public during the week-long Army 2022 International Mill Technical Forum in Russia. This robot dog powered by artificial intelligence will be able to carry and fire weapons amid the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Its robotic legs can bend, move it forward or backward, and turn itself around quite quickly. To hide itself behind brush or cover, it can also lower its entire body to lay flat on the ground. The robot dog will likely be used in combat and civilian environments in Ukraine to navigate through areas that have been destroyed by conflict or to distribute supplies or examine damage. The robot dog can also transport and shoot armaments as well as engage in target identification, patrolling, and security. The RPG-26 armament that is affixed to its back is an anti-tank weapon that can neutralize a range of armored vehicles in the battlefield. This comes after a trend of artificial intelligence-powered robot dogs that have been recently outfitted with weaponry. The opening ceremony of the conference featured a speech by Russian President Vladimir Putin to both domestic and international delegates. Newsweek reported that Putin spoke at the conference to praise foreign military experts in attendance and to inform them about Russia's weaponry advancements. Putin made broad remarks about the artificial intelligence-powered technologies that will form the tomorrow of his military forces but did not specifically mention the robot dog nor any other equipment. Putin stated that he was referring to high-precision weapons, robotics, and combat systems based upon new physical principles, while saying that many of these weapons are years ahead of their foreign counterparts and have significantly better tactical and technical characteristics. Despite these remarks, it was soon discovered that the robotic dog on display at the Army 2022 conference was not a new military device at all, but rather a unitary go one, which was simply covered in black cloth. This commercially available robot dog retails for just under $4,000 and was not originally designed for military applications. While there has been a push from multiple organizations over the years to outlaw autonomous weapons in war settings, there seems to be a growing trend of AI-powered robotic devices being armed for conflict scenarios. The associated risks include automation bias, greater decision-making speed, increased complexity, leading to a higher risk of accidents and escalation, and the possibility of an AI-related military competition and its implications for long-term AI safety. All of these risks together pose a greater risk for preemptive attacks that could spark a series of devastating runaway effects. New optical fiber sensor devices uses artificial intelligence to monitor brain injury. Tests on animal brain tissue have shown promising results. This could allow clinicians to monitor disease progression and patient response better than what is currently possible. It also indicates the potential for future human diagnostic trials. Traumatic brain injury caused by head trauma, also known as TBI, can lead to long-term memory loss, difficulty with concentration, and problem-solving. TBI must be monitored throughout treatment, and in neurocritical care settings, intracranial probes, also known as biomarkers, are used to monitor key indicators of injury progression, such as pressure and oxygen levels in the brain. These probes may only measure one biomarker at once. Other probes can monitor multiple biomarkers but require several tubes to be inserted into the brain, which can lead to further tissue damage and infections. Imperial researchers have developed a patient monitoring device to monitor multiple biomarkers after traumatic brain injury. This device can monitor four biomarkers simultaneously and uses machine learning algorithms to predict biomarker concentrations using previous data. The device can be used in hospitals to monitor TBI more effectively if it is optimized and tested for human use. This was a promising breakthrough with results that show precise biomarker monitoring and the ability to make accurate predictions of injury progression. This could allow clinicians to monitor brain health and treatment response in patients. The research was published in Matter. The flexible optical fiber is silica-based and can be inserted into the brain to monitor cerebrospinal fluid, which surrounds the brain. Four sensing films are attached to the fiber's tip. They continuously and simultaneously measure the levels of each biomarker within the cerebrospinal fluid. These include pH, temperature, and dissolved oxygen. To reduce background noise and increase data precision, the films are covered in a black sheath. The researchers monitored the levels of biomarkers in the brains of lambs under different states to test the device. The brain of the lamb, which was healthy and had not been affected by TBI, was placed in artificial cerebrospinal fluid. Researchers could adjust the cerebrospinal fluid to simulate mild or severe TBI. 
They first measured biomarkers within the healthy cerebrospinal fluid before going on to measure them in mild and severe TBI states. To mimic a scenario when patients recover from medical treatments, they then measured the mild TBI state. This device can collect a wide range of medical data, which is not possible with other sensors. To reduce crosstalks, the optical fiber sensor device was integrated with artificial intelligence. It had high performance, including high sensitivity, the detection of trace amounts biomarker, selectivity, and stability, the ability to provide long-term monitoring with minimal signal drift, biocompatibility, the sensor's ability to safely interact with brain tissue during long-term implantation, as well as robustness. Machine learning models were able to accurately predict biomarker concentrations using real-time readouts from a database of past measurements. The researchers also used the machine learning models to simulate TBI and identify the transition between these stages. The device can dynamically monitor multiple biomarkers in order to assess metabolic changes within the brain. It constantly reflects the injury's status, which could allow neurosurgeons to follow the course of the disease precisely in order to make evidence-based clinical and treatment decisions. Researchers continue to improve the sensor using optical bundles. This will allow them to test more biomarkers such as neurotransmitters and inflammatory agents. To make the most of available data and to develop predictive mechanisms, they are developing a more advanced machine learning system. They note that further tests with living animals are required to evaluate the response and test the fiber sensor's ability in real-world applications. Parkinson's Disease Detection Breakthrough Using AI and Breathing Patterns the NIT JAMAL Clinic has developed an artificial intelligence model which can detect Parkinson's disease by simply reading a person's breathing patterns. Parkinson's disease can be difficult to diagnose because it is primarily based on motor symptoms like tremors, stiffness, and slowness. However, these symptoms often show up years after the disease's onset. A neural network is the tool at hand which mimic how a human brain works. This allowed researchers to detect if someone has Parkinson's disease from their nocturnal breathing patterns. The neural network can also detect the severity of Parkinson's disease in a person and track its progression over time. Researchers at MIT demonstrated that artificial intelligence can be used to assess Parkinson's disease in a person's home every night while they are asleep and without having to touch their bodies. The team created a device that resembles a Wi-Fi router but emits radio signals. This analyzes the environment and extracts the subject's breathing patterns. The neural network uses the breathing signal to evaluate Parkinson's disease in a passive fashion. It requires no effort from either the caregiver or the patient. This approach can help with the assessment of Parkinson's disease in patients located in rural areas or those who have difficulty leaving home due to limited mobility or cognitive impairment.